Dreams by Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, that my young life were a lasting dream, my spirit not awakening till the beam of an eternity should bring the morrow. Yes, though that long dream were of hopeless sorrow, twere better than the cold reality of waking life to him whose heart must be, and hath been still upon the lovely earth, a chaos of deep passion from his birth. But should it be that dreams eternally continuing as dreams have been to me in my young boyhood, should it thus be given? Twere folly still to hope for higher heaven, for I have reveled when the sun was bright in the summer sky, and dreams of living light and loveliness have left my very hot inclines of my imaginary apart. From mine own home, with beings that have been of mine own thought, what more could I have seen? "'Twas once, and only once, and the wild hour from my remembrance shall not pass. Some power or spell had bound me. "'Twas the chilly wind came o'er me in the night, and left behind its image on my spirit. "'Or the moon shone on my slumbers in her lofty noon too coldly. "'Or the stars, however it was, that dream was that that night wind let it pass. "'I have been happy, though in a dream. "'I have been happy, and I love the theme, dreams.' in their vivid colouring of life, as in that fleeting, shadowy, misty strife of semblance with reality which brings to the delirious eye more lovely things of paradise and love and all my own than young hope in his sunniest hour hath known. The End of Dreams by Edgar Allan Poe Read by Rick Kishner for Lit to Go on the web at fcit.usf.edu